Hi all, in this video we'll be seeing basics of the GarageBand application. Okay, so GarageBand application is uh, used for composing music or editing music tracks. So first go to the spotlight search and search for the application GarageBand. I've already opened the application, so I'll go into the application. So click on empty project and you'll get three options. Choose whichever is suitable. Uh, the first two are based on uh, a, a user in, input and the third one is uh, a drummer you know it, it has a collection of uh, drummer tracks uh, where you can choose one of them uh, you know from the application so I'll go with the drummer track and click on create the track is actually useless uh, because you're going to be dealing with your music track so you can delete it and let's try adding some track uh, from apple music uh, anything that you save in apple music can be added so i'll add this track uh, you know into garage pen so you can trim the audio clip by holding on to the right edge of the clip uh, and you can also loop the clip by clicking on the circle uh, option in the top of uh, the trimming option here so when you click on the loop option uh, you can extend the second iteration of the first clip uh, to how much ever you want you can also go uh, to the third iteration or whatever so this is really helpful right and if you want to add uh, a mild piano track alongside your music track you can still do it click on the option on the right corner of the application and you'll get various music tracks you can also select it uh, and filter out uh, music tracks by instrument genre and descriptors so I'll try uh, adding a piano track which might be uh, you know soothing for the music track that i have so i'll add it here and you can play it together and see how it goes on uh, if you want to just test the uh, the first clip that you added you can simply mute on the piano clip that you added next by clicking on the mute option here you can also mute the first clip that you added so you have various options and this is why GarageBand is used. Uh, so I hope you found this basic tutorial useful. Thank you.